All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants, doing a draft film breakdown on the Giants' seventh round pick out of Houston, Javarius Owens, brought to you by Manscaped. So this guy's a versatile player, was their last pick in the draft, and he can do, like, he plays mostly from deep, but he loves to come up and play the run. He's aggressive. Now, his aggression can be his worst enemy at times, and we'll go through all of that. I think he's got good, like, plays on the ball. Doesn't always come down with them, even though we're seeing uh, a really nice one right here. Um, and then, you know, in the run game, again, very aggressive. Likes to come up and hit. That can be an issue, too, but we'll go through all of it. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. But before we get into Javarius Owens, the draft came and it went, and it was the most the most exciting prospect is being perfectly groomed head-to-toe with our friends at Manscaped. That's right. The Beard, Hedger, and Lama are 4.0 or a franchise-changing combo that will have you looking at your roster with pride. The lawnmower skin safe technology reduces your nicks and snags while making all the right cuts on hair. This powerful cordless trimmer helps you customize your look with a rotary wheel that has 20 lengths while only using one guard. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code GIANTS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com when you use code GIANTS. Go from Mr. Irrelevant to a first round pick with Manscaped. Mr. Irrelevant, Desmond Johnson Toledo. All right, let's get into it with Javarius Owens. So we're going to go through coverage first, obviously. Lined up right up tier. This was obviously the – we're going to start with the best. Then he gets off screen. But, again, pulls down an interception. He's playing that middle of the field, even though – he's playing that middle of the field, reading the QB's eyes right here. He turns, turns his hips off the screen, and go. We'll see it from the end zone angle. And just makes a great play on the ball. Again, watch his eyes. He's watching the quarterback. As soon as that quarterback turns his shoulders, bam. We're reading this. He's got this underneath. Go, go. And make a nice snag. Nice return, too. Bam, bam. You got to make the offensive lineman miss. He did, but the running back got him. Uh, next play. Lined up right here, again, from these two highs. Now, what Houston did a lot of times, they'd line up in the two high and they'd rotate the safeties to get into this single high coverage. So he's got this middle of the field. QB's looking at this vertical right here. Throws it. Just good play on the ball. Reading his eyes. He turns his shoulders. Get your hips and run. Now, something I would like to say about him or see about him is when you get to this point, just go, right? Just go. Because you see like a little hesitation here, seeing where he's going to the ball. There is so much better a chance of you making a play or an interception on this ball than if he turns his shoulders back and tries to get this because you're not going to be able to cover that. So I would just like go, 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 go. And again, that's the difference of an incompletion and an interception that falls right before your hands. So it's like, I like that. I like this play, but it could have been a great play instead of a really good play. We're going to see here at the bottom, same coverage. Again, lining up in too high, rotate, go. See, in this one, you don't have, you don't have the hesitation. Like we're rotating. We're seeing he's going. Bam. Run with it. And this time, again, not able to pull down that interception, even though it's a good play. Like, doesn't have the best center field range in the world. So for him to ever play center field in the NFL, uh, he's going to have to have, you know, kind of a, a quicker trigger to the sideline because you see how it just gets out there in front of him. But I also see him playing down towards the line of scrimmage a little more in the NFL. Next play lined up right here. Moving forward. Playing that center of the field. Bam. Blow it up. Blow up that over route. We're reading. We got, uh, you know, these you know four for three right here. You got the over. Pull that trigger. Get down. Lay the hit. Dislodge the football. Good stuff. Good stuff from there. Now, again, aggression moving forward can also hurt them. So we're lined up right here. And Kansas is obviously in a very run-heavy formation. So this play action, you have man coverage across the board, right? Except for Owens. 
except for Owens, who I am assuming is supposed to play the middle of the field. Now, this could be a coaching thing. I could be wrong, so I just want to add that context to it where they want him to come down and be the robber. But you have these players down here. And you have you, We're manned up everywhere else that I don't believe that is the case. And what does that do? It leaves the middle of the field with the post. It leaves your, leaves your safety partner vulnerable. To where if he's there, want you that ball's not being thrown or it's an interception. But being so aggressive on this play action to come play in the run, which again, does a lot of success for him too, that time gives him issues. But again, adding the context that that, that could be a coaching point. Next play. We're lined up right here. A little, just a couple, few man coverage reps. He didn't get a ton of man coverage, or at least in the four games I went through. Good job closing the cushion, fighting for inside leverage, and again, not pulling the ball down. Again, good anticipation of this route. Get to it. Close this cushion. Get your inside leverage. Just pull the ball down. We'll see it from the other angle from right here. Again, good job fighting for that. And then just, again, just outside of his reach. If the guy ran, you know, just like a half a, you know, a half a tenth faster than a 40 time, this guy might have had six interceptions last season. And that's just, in, again, just in the four games that I went through. And then just your regular down towards the line of scrimmage man coverage on a tight end. Sorry. Lined up here. Get physical, get in the hip, run with it. Obviously, NFL tight ends in Kansas will be better than the Kansas ones, but still. Lined up here. Tight end on the block and release on the drive route. Close the space. Good man coverage. But again, there wasn't a ton of man coverage reps. Uh, next play. Lined up right here. Two high coverages. Very aggressive to get downhill, especially on these screens. And again, not only does it get downhill, we take on this block. We use our hands. We put that dude on, on the dirt. And you help make a tackle. Good stuff. Next play. Lined up here at the top and too high. Again, they're going to throw a screen. Get downhill. Like you got to play your coverages. You see the screen, pull that trigger, get downhill, make a tackle. Where are we lined up here? Right here. So right off the screen here. Get the screen. Number six makes the play. But again, if he, he can't cut this up inside because Owens fills this correctly. If six would have filled inside, he's going to go outside. So just stopping the the receiver from being able to cut that up. Next play. Again, he's off screen to start. You're going to see him to come in the screen right here. Come and fill. Get in the alley. Make a tackle at the line of scrimmage or, or possibly even for a loss. Now, here versus Kansas, lined up right here. Again, in these two high looks. This is the, the negative of being aggressive. Right? They're running this read option. You want to come down here and make this tackle? You leave the alley wide open. They bring this tight end across. He's filling inside. Someone has to fill the outside shoulder of this. Someone has to come, and that, I'm very confident, is Owen's job. And because of aggression trying to stop the run, they're able to break off a nice big chunk play and get within the 10-yard line. Back to just kind of in the box reps here. Just good recognition. Good aggression. Fill your gap. You see it. Go pull the trigger. Make a run stop. 
So he consistently does good stuff lined up in the box. Like lined up here from deep versus Kansas. Great. Taking on blocks. Stacking and shedding. Can we get downhill? We use our hands. Take on this block. Put his ass in the dirt. And make a tackle. Like doing your job and doing it well. Next play. Lined up from deep. Going to come lay a big ass hit. Bam. Doing your job. You see this tight end coming from across the line of scrimmage. You go. You get downhill. Work leverage and put him on his back. Like that's awesome stuff. And again, so aggression, again, best friend, worst enemy. I'd like to, I'd rather work with a guy who we got to real, uh, you know, pull the reins in a little bit than a guy that's passive. Next play lined up right here. Playing from deep. Fill for a run stop. Fill your gap. Get downhill. Square up. Make a tackle. So consistently good stuff there. Next play. Lined up right here. Get in there. Make a tackle. Again, I'm repeating the same stuff over and over again, but it's there. Lined up from deep right here. This time he is going to fill the alley. Good job. Like on that play where we talked about being aggressive before, this play is meant to go here. If he comes down aggressive on this, he's out of the play and this could be points. But instead... You're filling the alley, and we're keeping him to a two-yard gain instead of a 25-yard gain. Now, here you're going to see him come from off screen up here at the top left. They're going to run a draw. Big hit. Big hard on the quarterback. Legal. It's a very legal. You're going to see him come from deep here on the top right of the screen. Fill your gap. Help make a tackle. Force that back to cut back up into another tackler. So just making plays, helping other guys make plays. Now here's where there's a lot of fun. There's a lot of bad too, and this happens a lot. We're lined up in the left, top left here. Miss tackles. It happens a lot. Six points on the board. Right here. You got a chance for a big hit, a tackle for a loss. You just whiff. Going for that big hit. You whiff. So, again, the big hits are awesome. They can also get you in trouble. Now, his teammates uh, helped him out on that one, obviously. Lined up here on the bottom on the hashes. Miss a tackle. Added yards. And then the last one lined up right here. Just goes for a big hit on this tight end. Doesn't wrap up at all. I mean, he goes for the kill shot, right? Bumped off him. Good job, teammates, making the tackle. So, um, I really like this guy. And the Giants have a need for a box safety, right? Like, th you have Xavier McKinney. Bobby McCain's not a box safety. Jason Pinnock is not a box safety. Dane Belton, he doesn't really play great in the box. He plays more of that star nickel role. Like, Javarius Owens could very likely be playing meaningful reps for the Giants as a rookie as their final seventh-round pick. So, really like this this guy out of Houston for Joe Shane. Excited to see him work in camp. I think this guy may move up the depth chart quicker than people realize. So, And again, this is the last pick of the draft. Seventh round, pick 254. So, you know, one pick before Tate Crowder was taken in 2020. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other draft breakdowns. I'm actually going to do a few UDFA breakdowns this year, too. So, hope you guys enjoy everything. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Until then, let's go big blue.